Seconded. Seconded. Uh, motion 69 in the name of Labour Women. Hello, uh, Catherine Dunn, Chair of Labour Women. The reason for this motion is very simple. It's that the new Central Council body of the Labour Party consists of 17% women, and that means it's 83% male. This goes against the Labour Party's commitment to equality. This party has um, a, a policy of targets for gender balance for dual candidates of all parties. We have our own targets of a minimum 30% of either gender in general and local elections and also on internal party committees. For example, the executive board, and that's why you saw the change in voting yesterday to have the women's panel and the men's panel to ensure a gender balance on that body. Um, when the selections for, uh, for delegates to the Central Council were taking place, it was asked that the overall gender balance would be considered. Um, however, this didn't happen. It didn't work because of the system of election of candidates to the Central Council. Each constituency only gets to select uh, one delegate, so it's impossible to ensure a gender balance across the whole of the party. Um, this is the reason why we propose to change the system. Um, a change to the system should and does have the support of many members of the party. For example, Labour women wrote to all the um, candidates for the executive board elections and to the candidates for chair, um, chair of the party. All of them wrote back to say that they supported the idea of changing this mechanism and indeed suggested um, different mechanisms for, for uh, achieving a gender balance on the Central Council. Eamon Gilmore himself spoke at l our Labour Women Conference last year to s about his um, dissatisfaction with the number of women on the Central Council and I know that um, Labour Women has uh, Eamon's support for implementing this change. There are various different ways it could be done. Um, I'm not going to go into them all now. It would be up to the um, executive board to make a decision. But to give an example, one thing that could be done without changing the number of delegates could be to twin constituencies so that each pair of constituencies then elect one man and one woman between them to go forward to the Central Council. So in conclusion, this is a simple measure that needs to be taken to ensure the best representation of women um, on this body of the party. And I commend the motion to conference.